You're watching 13 on your side mornings. Welcome back. We are eight months into this pandemic and the struggle is real for many of us. Parents are exasperated with their kids. Kids are exasperated with their parents. I spoke with holistic child psychologist Dr. Nicole Birkins for some help. It's it's felt like a long time now dealing with this and many parents are expressing to me um, in the clinic that they feel like their kids behaviors are ramping up. They're just, you know, struggling more parents are struggling with it. I think it's really important to remember that this has been a lot for adults and for kids to cope with and manage now for a long period of time. And for children, especially all of the change, the uncertainty, the the added stress that builds up and it tends to show up in their behavior more so than in other ways. So just keeping that in mind and realizing that it's not their fault. Uh, no child wakes up in the morning and says, you know what I'm going to do today is just really make life stressful and miserable for everybody. They don't do that. Kids want to do well, but they're feeling the effects of this now over the long term. So we need to uh, appreciate that that's what's going on and recognize that's where it's coming from. Um, and, and there's some strategies that we can uh, that we can talk about that can be helpful with that. What are those strategies that you'd recommend? So the first thing is to take a deep breath and slow yourself down before responding. So when your child is acting in ways that are exasperating or you just feel like, oh, I can't believe we're dealing with this again, take a deep breath, slow yourself down, recognize that this is coming from the child not having a more appropriate way to cope with this and come at it in a calm, more measured way. That's the first thing. The second thing is to empathize and listen. Say, boy, it looks like you're really having a hard time you know, what's going on, uh, what, what can we do, and, and try to listen to hear what is underlying uh, that temper tantrum or that disrespectful back talk or whatever it might be. The third thing I think is key is to focus on relationship building. When kids are falling apart, really going through a rough patch, um, there can be this tendency for us to get in these negative patterns with them. And we want to focus on building that relationship, making sure that we're taking at least some moments during the day to have some positive um, interactions with them. And then spotlight what's going well. Make sure that at least a couple times a day you're saying, hey, I really like how you did that, or wow, that was a great thing, or boy, this went really well. Because when we focus on the positive and help them focus on that, it just resets that relationship and helps things go better all the way around.